must save her. My daughter. How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here back again playing some more Breath of the Wild for you today. In one of my favorite spots right now, which is the Hyrule Field Tower, I think. Oh, no, Central Tower. It's just a beautiful view of Hyrule Field. And uh, yeah, it's 6 a.m. in Hyrule. Clear skies for the most part. I guess partly cloudy. <laughs> How are y'all doing today? Uh... <laughs> It's good to be back. So today's agenda, we are going to do, 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 finish EX Champion Daruk Song, and then we're going to continue the Champion's Ballad. Uh, so let's go ahead and finish this. Basically, all we have to do is go to the Divine Beast and see what awaits us there. So let's head to the top of Death Mountain. And uh, actually, before I do that, I should probably change my gear. Because I was looking for a style with this outfit, but in Death Mountain, you just want to survive. So we're going to go full Rudenia gear here. And uh, actually, my shield as well probably is not viable. Okay, now we're good. Let's head on over to Divine Beast Va Rudanya. If you guys enjoy the Zelda content, please drop a like. Helps out the channel. And definitely comment, because I do read them. So just real quick, a couple comments that you guys left in the last episode, episode 91. Uh, we got Zumwar. The Goron Rock Crusher type weapon and sledgehammers are the only weapons that can kill them little rock boys. Yeah, you're probably right, because I've tried using other weapons and it did not work. Um, we got another comment from someone on YouTube. Bro, the intro is fire. I appreciate that, man. And then, uh, one more comment here. Yo, man, that's crazy. I just started this game like one week ago. It's fun, isn't it? Dude, I am so excited for you that you get to play this amazing game. It's such a good game. You're gonna love it. Alright, we're at the Divine Beast. What's going on? Is it going to reawaken and attack me? To the one who approaches this Divine Beast... I offer this trial, okay. In exchange for Rudania's emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Okay, he took my three challenge emblems that I gained. Those who lack determination will find this challenging trial unforgiving. I'm very determined. Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it merely as a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. So it's real, but it's not real. Copy that. What's happening? We're being transported to the spirit realm. Just a guess. He said something about memories. Ooh, my, my armor is different. My weapons are different. And... This illusionary realm was created from the depths of my memories. Interesting. The enemy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome... Bro, I have no fear. I have the Triforce of Courage. I already destroyed this boss. This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious. Oh, okay. All right. I guess or I lose my soul? Let's go. I've, I've already fought this boss once before and absolutely destroyed I, I don't know if the boss is upgraded okay that that's maybe a little bit upgraded fire blight ganon illusionary realm ooh so cool I love the hair hey big boy all right so what do I have I have only five shots with my arrows okay Ow. Whoa. Do I even have food? What? I'm already almost dead. And I have like no... F oh my goodness. Oh 
I have a feeling I'm going to die. Oh, I have my my divine beast powers. That's helpful. Oh, we're already on to phase two. With your with Urbosa's fury, this should be easy, right? I just can't take a single hit. Okay, I definitely can't take a single hit now. And he has a fire shield? What? I don't remember this. Okay, this is... I can barely see, too. It's, like, dark in here. Oh, let's throw a bomb. Easy. Oh, my goodness. This is dead. He's dead. He doesn't realize it. Oh. I don't have Arbrosa's Fury anymore. Never mind. It's recharged. I only got one of those. I got these ice arrows. I'm going to use them, bye. Yo, back off. The bomb actually worked? No, 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 no. None of that. Okay, I bombed myself, but I also bombed him. Come on, Link. Come on, Link. Oh, no. I'm, I almost died from that. There we go. Easy. We got this. I, I mean, he is dead, right? No more, uh, no more phases. No more phase three. Please just die. Okay, I think he's dead. <laughs> I, the fact you have, like, no health, no arrows. Literally, you only can get hit twice or you fail. I got hit once. We learned that the hard way. All right. Well, I guess we won the battle of our soul. Let's see uh, what is our reward. Ooh, we back. Snap back to reality. Up there goes gravity. Oh, it's uh, Cass. What's up, bro? You just were here this whole time? Oh, my, my. For some, the best part of traveling alone is the freedom to get lost in thought with only the wind to distract you. I agree. Ah, wandering around here and listening to anecdotes about Champion Daruk has truly invigorated me. In fact, it has inspired me to honor him in my own way, separate, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. This is why I felt inclined to roost here, near the divine beast Varudanya, which Daruk himself mastered. Uh, I mastered as well, just saying. Daruk actually got owned and I saved him, but that's another that's another thing. I've written a song to try and capture the spirit of Champion Daruk. Recall Rudanya's champion of flame before his fated moment finally came. This is the tale of Great Daruk's task. And the princess who came to ask. Ah, oh, count me in, tiny princess. I'm the fearless Daruk, after all. And if my rule needs my help, I'll gladly lay down my life. Thank you, Daruk. Not sure if it's Calamity Ganon's fault or what, but I hear monsters have been attacking people more than ever lately. Times like these, you shouldn't leave the castle without a horde of mighty Gorons to watch your back. You sound like Father. He's assigning a knight to watch over me wherever I go. Where is that knight? The top contender is the most accomplished swordsman in all of Hyrule. Ah. Hmm? That could only be... Hmm? What the... They really are all over the place these days. Is someone being attacked? Cowards. Wait here. Oh, let's see some Daruk smash. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This is what I'm talking about. Epic. Be cool to get to actually play as the champions. In the memory, instead of fighting the boss again. It'd be cool if you got you had to fight the champion. You had to fight the divine beast as the champion, but oh well. 
the soldier putting his sword away like he did anything. You're safe. It's a little doggy. That's who they were attacking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it seems our friend here was the one being attacked. <laughs> Precious boy, you saved his life. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's scared of the puppy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, that's funny, man. Good riddance, and stay safe. I'm sorry you had to see that side of me. As a kid, dogs always chased me. I still panic when I see one of those critters. I never imagined the great Daruk would have a weakness. It's so. <laughs> Calamity Ganon isn't, uh, some kind of a dog monster, is he? LOL. Huh? Nah, if, lucky for you, he's more of a boar or a pig. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> that is a funny cutscene, man. <laughs> Even in the midst of, like, world annihilation, you know, they're having fun. Hmm, I suppose even champions are not immune to fear. So, what do you think of Champion Daruk's song? I mean, it was okay. By writing a song that celebrates the softer side of Champion Daruk, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. Mm. I was struck by a realization that the missing parts of the song can only be finished by my teacher's people, by me. I knew you could do it, little guy. Now you can use Daruk's protection more than ever. Really? If you see that Ganon jerk, give him a message for Good riddance, bacon breath. LOL. Bacon, get it? Because he's a pig. Ooh, Daruk's protection plus. Champion Daruk's divine gift. So long as you're holding ZL, it automatically protect you. It now requires less time to recharge. Nice. All right, we finished uh, Champion Daruk. Uh, Ca uh, Cass, don't worry. Like, I hear voices in my head a lot. I wasn't ignoring you, bro. Your song was great. All right, sweet. So let's, uh, that's, that's marked off already. And now we are on to the next part. So we can go to the Rito, the Zora, or the Garuda. But I'm going to go to the Rito because... Um, Zumwar commented something about uh, an epic surfing or something. I don't know, but he wanted us to do Rito next. So that's where we're going. Kind of doing like a reverse order of Divine Beasts. Most people do the Zora, then the Gerudo, then the Rito, then the Goron Divine Beast. And we're doing the DLC backwards, so that's kind of cool. Started it out with Rudania, and now we're going to... Vomido. All right. So let's see. I need to go to this marker. It's just south of us this way. And I don't need to wear this ridiculous armor anymore. So let's let's put something on a little more comfortable, shall we? Since we're in the Rito area, I suppose we can look like a pretty cool looking Hylian with Rito armor. Let's climb up here. I love ruins in this game, man. So I just need to go that way. I'm going to have to climb up here. I guess I could use Rivali's Gale if we're feeling a little bit lazy, which we kind of are. I got three of them after all. You. I mean, we got it. We might as well use it, right? And I already hear Cass. So we must be getting very close already. But yeah, let me know which of the Divine Beast uh, EX ones you want me to do after the Rito. Do you want me to do Zora next or Gerudo next? But we gotta do these first. Ooh, cool. I applaud your courage in coming here. Really? I mean, I just dominated the last challenge. The locations that will be revealed to you are of trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. 
I mean, yeah, we pretty much know the drill at this point, so can we just skip to the part where I can look at the map pictures? <laughs> Here we go. Okay. This one, I don't really remember where they all are, so we're going to have to uh, analyze the map a little bit. I kind of like that they don't just tell you where they are. You have to actually look at the map and figure it out yourself. You know what I mean? It, it makes the map have, you know, more of a use than just teleporting. Now oh, we meet again. It seems you caught me. Well, dude, I, how did you beat me here? I literally teleported from you. I literally teleported and you still beat me here. There, I swear there's more than one Cass. He's got twin brothers. Look at that. Another monument with another unfinished song to go with it. All right. Let's just hear the song, bro. I know you're going to sing about Champion Rivali. All right. Let's hear it. You're not even going to give me a choice. Allow me to sing it. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a choice. Go for it, bro. I can't even skip the cutscene. Wind's ally soars the land of cloud. Mado's champion, swift and proud. The hero's power shall grow. Seek trials, monuments show. One, shoot the flame dragon's horn. Ooh. Two, race down a peak rings adorn. And three, shoot four targets to win. Wow, that's it? Champion, the trials begin. Epic. So, did it move you? Yes, it moved me to want to do the trial if you would oh. stop talking to us. <laughs> Thankfully, Teba and Rito Village Elder Connection. Oh, uh, yeah, so if you really want to know more about the uh, champion, Daruk, for instance, we could have gone to Goron City and talked to the leaders there, and they would tell us a little bit more about him, and I think you can read his diary, but I think I'm pretty good on that. All right, so let's let's see where we're going here. So this one is going to be hard because it looks like it's just <laughs> uh, it's on the edge of a cliff somewhere. I mean, it, it could be here. It could be anywhere. We can't even see snow on our map. So this is going to be a difficult one to figure out. And then uh, let's see this one. It's also OK. That one's in a little crater kind of next to a river. Uh, do I see like a little, okay, here's the river. Here's the crater. Okay. So this is definitely one of them. I'm going to put red stamp there. We found one. This one. Okay. That must be where the dragon is. It's got to be like along this cliff somewhere. Let's look very closely. So, all right. Hmm. Actually. Dang, I don't know, man. That's a tough one. I know that it's got to be around here. Is it right here? I'm going to say it's like around here. So let's put a blue one right there. And this one is the only one that's going to be difficult. I literally can't even tell where that is at all. It almost looks down here, but I want to say it's actually up here somewhere in the mountains. It may be up here, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm just going to guess and just say like around here. All right. So which one are we doing first? Which one's closest? Um... This one? I, I mean, I guess this one is, but let's just go to this one. Uh, let's warp here, and then we'll be able to easily travel. One thing that you can do if you don't, if you're not sure, you can actually use your Sheikah slate and take a picture of the pictures, <laughs> so you can look at them later. I didn't think of that, but it's okay. I'm pretty confident in where we marked. It's been a while since I've done this, like literally years, so that's why I'm not. 100% but this one is the one where we need to shoot the red dragon's horn I'm pretty sure so let's travel southwest 
We basically need to just look for the dragon. He's not out right now, apparently. But I know that the dragon does visit these areas, right? Pretty sure. Cookie. <laughs> Let's go dragon hunting along this cliff. You know, the dragon probably only shows up at certain times of the day, so maybe it's only at day, maybe it's only at night, I don't really know. We're, we're pretty much in the middle of the night right now, so if we don't see it, probably it's during the day. Dang, there's opals under all these rocks. I would actually like a new bow, but these guys never seem to drop any. I see a Poe over there with probably a blizzard wand, which are like some of the best weapons in the game, but it's okay. I'm not really hurting on like weapons, you know? Alright, so the marker is just down here. Look at all these wolves! Triple kill! <laughs> that one's like, oh my gosh! No survivors. Okay, you can survive. If you come back here, I will kill you though. Ah. Oh, it's you. What a pleasant surprise. I came here because the elder tasked me with keeping watch on the dragon that appears around here. It's been appearing quite frequently. Everyone's worried it's going to cause trouble for the village. After the inf incident with Mido, I can't blame them for worrying. Dude, why don't you turn and look at me? Like, why do you gotta just, like, look at me from behind? Ah. Come to think of it, the dragon always flies through this valley at night. When it does, its horn lights up. Okay, thanks for telling us, uh... Basically confirmed our theory that it does show up at night. I had a hunch, but we were, you know, at night and it didn't, it didn't show up, so I don't know. Yep. But I do know that we're not going to pass up ore, no matter how rich we get. I could be a Zelda billionaire, and we can always get more rupees. Alright, so let's just sit by the fire until it's uh, night, and hopefully we can find this dragon. Wow, we are already at the 24 minute mark. This episode might go a little bit long, but that's okay, because we have a lot to do. You know what I mean? I want to finish this game before God of War Ragnarok, which comes out in like a little over a week, maybe like nine days. What is today? Eight days. It comes out eight days from now. Oh, oh, we found him. Wow. When they say his horn, they mean his horns. He's got two really big horns. And he's coming our way. So tell me, uh, what was your name again? Mez Mosley? What exactly is your plan to, like, deal with the dragon? Are you actually going to try to fight it? Or are you just going to try to talk to it? Or are you just, like, observing and then you're going to report? Like, what's, what's your actual game plan here? I don't know about you, but I'm going uh, dragon horn hunting. It's going really low into this valley. I, I do want that ore, but... I'm not going to miss my chance here. Dang. One of the coolest... Wow, his horn's glowing. One of the coolest things in this game is the fact that there's dragons. No... I mean, there are dragons in Zelda games, but only as, like, a boss fight. This game, the dragon is literally... They're just, like, mystical beings that are in the world. Oh, gosh. This is amazing. I'm flying with you. But I have to take your horn piece. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You shouldn't. You really shouldn't make them glow that much if you if you don't want to get shot at. Cause that's like a big glowing target. That's just like everyone wants to shoot that. All right. Well, that was an easy challenge. Maybe the challenge is the shrine. You know what I mean? 
because finding the dragon and shooting his horns is easy peasy. Thank you, O mystical being. Wait, he's dropping loot. Let's get the loot. And thank you for dropping it on the same side as the shrine. That that was actually amazing. You're beautiful. Thank you, O great dragon. What do we get? Shard of Dinral's horn. This shard chipped and fell off the red spirit Dinrail. Its horn is said to be the crystallized power of fire itself. It sells for a high price, but rumors say there's some other use for it. Yeah, we can use it to upgrade some armor, I think. No need to waste the rock breaker when I have the ultimate rock breaker, the master sword. Wait, nice weapon for a little dude like you. Just pop out of the ground with a knight's claymore. I'm not, I'm not even going to take it because I'm not a huge fan of two-handed weapons. Let's just get all this ore. I, I know I could use the master sword, but... We got this big weapon. All right. I'm so contradictory, I know. All right, let's go up and do the shine. Dang, he's going into, into space. All right, I don't really need this, like... Let's just set it to treasure chest instead of shrine. All right. The Shira Gomar shrine. Setting your Sheikah Slate to target treasure chests instead of shrine is also very useful when you're trying to find all the, sh all the treasure chests in every shrine because it will be in the shrine as well. All right. I have no idea what this shrine is, so let's see. Hopefully it's not too challenging, but at the same time, you know, I'm open for it. I haven't been really challenged in this game in a little while. Aim for stillness. Oh, wow. This is interesting. So am I just gonna fly over here? I can hear the the sensor beeping for, uh, let's just blow that up. You're, you're probably supposed to use a bomb like, I don't know. We got bomb arrows. Might as well use them, right? Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Now we're using a bomb. Boom. <laughs> okay, that was fun. I like any kind of puzzle like that. Whee! Oh, wow. Where am I going? Did I miss the chest? No, it's still this way. All right, we're good. What is going on with this one? Oops. Oh, that is cool. I, I got to time it just right. Oh, that was terrible. That was abs actually terrible. So I got to put the bomb in when it's about 45 degrees. That's probably not good either. Wait, what? All right, if you're going to... I mean, I could just do that. You know what I mean? I could... I think you have to because you literally can't even bomb it. Like, how are you supposed to bomb it otherwise? Because, oh, I know. By doing that. Okay, well, that's another way if you don't have bomb arrows. <laughs> Some bomb arrows really, uh, really help on this one. Wait, 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 wait. Go back. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. We're not dying. I'm, I might have to back step a tiny bit, but we're not going to die. I'm not even going to touch the ground. Ye we're, we're just going to... I guess you actually do have to stasis this. Bro, Link! What? Oh my. Can I make it? Can I make it? Bro, Link almost killed me there. Like when you're when you're trying to jump and pull out the glider, it is iffy sometimes. Let me just say, it's iffy. Unless you got some some decent height. Oh, I can even stasis this entire thing. 
So I could I could literally just go like this. Link, pull out the glider. F thank you. He's so difficult sometimes. Wait, wait, wait. Where's the chest? Okay, there we go. I knew it had to be somewhere around here. What do we get? Look at that. Got all my bomb arrows back and then some. Whoa, Link. Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Nope. Nope. I refuse. I refuse. I will say, uh, you guys got to give me credit for not dying because I should have died like four times. Come on. Give me that air. There we go. It, it, there it is. All right. We got the chest. So now we don't have to waste any time here. Gosh dang it. I'm just wasting all my time because I'm in a rush. Haste makes waste. And unless of course you actually really do need haste. Okay, this time for real. I'm not wasting any more time. We're gonna do this legit. Honestly, it's almost easiest if you just stop this entire thing. Oh my gosh. There we go. All right, we got the chest, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Now we're just going to go all the way to the end. Easy. Took a little bit longer than it should have, but we did not die once. That is all that matters. All right, we got one meadow emblem. Collect three emblems to open the path. Okay, I know, I know. We, we already did Rudania. We know. We know. Don't worry about it. To remain. Yes, I know, I know. Oh, we are at 30 minutes already. So, I'm probably going to have to end the episode here, guys. I do want to go on, but unfortunately, we're aiming for about 30 minute episodes, except, you know, episode 10 or, you know, every 10th episode, we'll do one hour. And uh, if it's getting close to release of God of War and I still have a, a bit to do, then we're just going to do our episodes until I beat the game. So, but for now, for now, we're going to end it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like. Be sure to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Wait, I can get another shard. Hold up. Pause everything. We're not up. We're not ending the episode yet. Something uh, important came up. And... Uh, <laughs> We're going to take advantage. See if we can get another shard. Because I know they're very useful to have. No, 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 no. Don't go up. Don't go up. Yeah, baby. Maybe you can only get the shard at night. I don't know. Hi, please don't kill me. Oh, bomb arrows. I apologize. I used a little bit excessive force. Wait, where'd it go? I just want to get this ore real quick. Thank you, dragon. Thank you. Try not to hit those birds next time. All right. Let's grab the ore and then uh, whatever he dropped. And then it's the end of the episode. All right, where is it? Is it down there? Dude, I, I did not see where it went at all. So, okay, it fell down. There it is. Ooh. Got it. And since we're here, <laughs> it 
It's not the end yet, guys. Just be patient. Um, we're gonna put it right there. No? Yeah! Bye-bye. Yeah. Okay, this is the end of the episode. Take it easy, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next one. This is Lucian Sword. Peace.